looking deep down the left side. Mendeville over the answer. Touchdown! Welcome, everybody, to Be Varsity Live, second semester edition. It's January 7th. I'm Zach Ewing. Trevor Horn is alongside here in the DBZ Media Studios. We apologize for coming on the air a little bit late. Had some technical issues there, but we uh, think we're past those, so we should be in good shape. And it's, uh, it's January. It's time to talk some wrestling for the first time on Be Varsity Live this year. The Doc Buchanan this weekend, Friday and Saturday in Clovis, the premier wrestling tournament before state in the state of California and really one of the premier prep wrestling tournaments in the entire nation. Schools from all over the country, including several from Bakersfield. And uh, the first one we're going to talk about is Frontier High School. We have with us here in the studio Coach Kirk Moore and Senior Heavyweight Jared Snyder. How are you guys doing? Doing pretty good. Doing good. And uh, Jared, you're a, a three-sport athlete, but wrestling has sort of your become your forte. I think – I don't know. A lot of guys start with wrestling and stick with it, and other guys kind of fall into it and realize – this is what I want to do. Is or do you fall into the latter category there? Yeah, I uh, I originally did wrestling to stay in shape for football, and I started my freshman year, and then it just carried on into me being a state placer. Yeah, a state placer last year. What, what, when did you sort of realize wrestling was actually going to be your calling as far as college and that sort of thing? Uh, by my end of my sophomore year, okay, I feel like I had a good chance of being able to uh, carry on in college. And then your junior year. Forgive me, fourth in state last year or third? Fourth. Fourth last year at state as a heavyweight. is obviously sets you up for a great senior year, and you're the number two seed or pre-seed for the Doc B this weekend. Um, that's that's pretty good. I mean, we're talking about schools from New Jersey, schools from Oregon, schools from Colorado, and, and the top schools from those states coming into this tournament. And obviously Clovis, which is perennially one of the top schools in the nation. Buchanan's up there. Bakersfield High's up there. Uh, and, and you guys have had great wrestlers over the years, Kirk. Uh what kind of an opportunity is this for you still early in your season as a measuring stick for a lot of these guys? Um, I think for, for Jared, one, it's just um, we're going to be able to get to see probably the top two heavyweights besides ourselves mm -hmm. um, in the state. And we'll be able to see that in January, so we'll be able to have a measuring stick of where do we stand, what do we need to work on um, throughout the next two months. And for our younger guys, it's kind of get – an eye opener for him of hey you know what this is very very close to the state meet you got to be ready for your first match and so it kind of puts them in that that state mentality of we got to get ready to go yeah um, but without a doubt for Jared this is just another opportunity to kind of reinforce that he's one of the best heavyweights in the state and uh, kind of make his name on a national scene hopefully um, this weekend uh, now at state at least you might get an Oakland section wrestler you might get the you know a city section wrestler doesn't have a lot of experience you might get one easy match at state yeah you know, there are no good draws at, at Doc B how excited are you to see how your bracket falls out and, and uh, who you may face this weekend I'm pretty excited it's just gonna be a great opportunity to see how I how I can do at state and uh, just I'm just can't wait for it we were talking about this off the air a little bit but you guys have another another football player another uh, very good heavyweight in Dom DeMarco who at the Doc B, you're allowed to enter more than one kid from one school in one weight class. Of course, once we get to league and section and, and valley and, uh, and uh, state, you can't do that. Um, so in, in one way, it's sort of a bad deal for Dom that he's going to have to beat out the kid who took fourth in state the previous year to make the starting lineup, or, or it'll be a bad deal for you, Jared. If, yeah. But, but uh, in another way, Kirk, you love to have those guys be able to practice against each yeah, other. Yeah, I mean, for, for us, I mean, finding another heavyweight as athletic as Dom – to, to actually just come in, really, and say, you know what, I want to help Jared out. Without a doubt, Dom wants to wrestle, and he wants to win, mm -hmm. um, and he wants to do well this weekend. But just having the mentality of saying, you know what, I'm, I'm going to show up every single day in one of the hardest sports that you could do and just wrestle. Um, you know, it would have been very easy for Dom to say, you know what, Jared's already got the spot. He's fourth in state. Yeah, I think I'm just going to cruise my senior year, and, and this isn't for me. But instead, Dom shows up every single day, and uh, he's got a great personality, great character, and we love having him in the room. And uh, he pushes Jared uh, mm -hmm. probably more than anybody else just because he has the size factor. Right. I mean, it's hard to find another 280-pound guy in, in a school that's athletic as Jared and Dom. So I mean, right. it's great. Kobe Wright. Kobe. <laughs> I think but Kobe, he's sticking with the basketball. Yeah, I think program. Kobe Wright Kobe's probably weighs about, uh, I don't three, know. 325 right now. Yeah, he's a – Kobe, you know what's funny is seeing him go down the court for the basketball team. Because that guy can run up and down the court, but he is an enormous creature. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. And then Kyle I, I Sturm needs to be playing tight end in the NFL, but he's sticking <laughs> with basketball. So. Dom maybe just wanted an opportunity to beat on Jared. I don't know if that yeah. was maybe the – got tired of it in football. Uh, n- now, speaking from experience, when you wrestle, especially if you're not an experienced wrestler, you can get burned out real quick. Yes, you can. I mean, it, like you said, Coach, it's hard work. I mean, you're in there for several hours a day. Um, you know, you, you – Maybe not. You don't have to cut weight, but a lot of these guys have to watch their weight. They can't mm-hmm. eat whatever they want. I mean, it's it is physically draining. Uh, have you learned? And and what's your advice for a guy to to get through a season and to be strong once you get to March? It's just uh, day by day. You know, you can't think about the future. You can't think too far. You can't say, "Oh, I got three more months of this." You got to say, "Okay, I got a big tournament this week. Let me practice this week, and the next week I start all over again." Well, that's the biggest thing, too. Like, I'm talking to Frank Lomas. We've got the BHS wrestlers in. You know, I'm asking Frank, hey, you know, obviously we want Navante in. And, you know, who else do you want to win? Do you want to bring in Sam? Do you want to bring J.J. Figueroa? He goes, well, uh, no, he's got to cut weight. No, I think he's a little tight. You know, we got to do this. we got to do that. And that's the big thing about wrestling. I mean, you don't get that with any other sport. You'd be like, hey, bring that kid in. I'm yeah. like, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. No, they've got, like Zach was saying, you got extra stuff that you really got to deal with. Yeah, wrestling is unique just in the standpoint of um, the rigors of training plus watching and managing your weight. I mean, if we were, we were in basketball or football and we we're saying, hey, we're going to the Doc B this weekend, uh, our kids would be excited from the standpoint, hey, we're going to get up there at 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. We're going to go out for a team dinner. We're going to have fun. You know, yeah. we'll, uh, we'll sleep in tomorrow. Our first game's at 12. For these guys, it is – Hey, we're gonna get up there around you know seven eight o'clock, and we got to check our weight. If our weight's off, then we got to get we got to get running. And then tomorrow morning, it's hey, I'm up at five thirty in the morning. Got to check my weight and uh, got to get there you know an hour before weigh-ins. Check the scale, make sure everything's right. So, being a high school kid and being in this sport is just uh, it's tough. And for a kid to do it for all four years is pretty amazing. Zach, I still remember those hotel. days of weigh-ins. You. You grab a granola bar and step on the scale with the granola bar and say, well, I can't weigh more than this yeah. if I eat this, so I'm, I'm okay if I can eat this. Hey, uh, Zach, worst hotel to stay in during a wrestling tournament? The same hotel with wrestlers. Wherever the wrestlers are because yeah. they get it. You, you, yeah. You're not sleeping in either. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're yeah. not sleeping yeah. in. You're running Door, up and down the hallway. To doors are opening up. Doors are closing. They're checking their weight all the time. They, they're running know, up and down the hallway yeah. trying it, to cut it. it it's it's tough. You know, and I, you know, back when I was, uh, when I was competing, um, we were lucky enough to have uh, Friday night weigh-ins um, for a second-day tournament. Right. So yeah. at least we got that out of the way and then could go get a nice meal and do those things. Mm-hmm. And uh, the way they do it now, nope, it's uh, both mornings. So it, it's, it's tough. Yeah, it, and it, it's not it's not easy as a coach, and we got to wake up too, and we got to check their weights well, and, and, and get you, there. It's not I mean, it's not fun all the time. Anybody who saw you wrestle and has seen you coach certainly knows that you're an intense competitor, oh, yeah. and you want these guys to win. You're you're working as hard as they are sometimes in the corner, but you have to pace yourself too over the season. I mean, you have to. Yeah, I mean, it, it gets to where you're looking at, and you, the kids kind of refuel you if they're excited and they're doing well and, and they're winning big matches, which we've won over the years. That kind of gives you enough to, all right, like Jerry was saying, you know, one more week, one more tournament. What's the next excitement? If the kids get down and their energy level drops, and then you got to kind of try to uh, bring them up. Yeah, it's it's a long, and it's not three months, it's a long four month season. And for most of these programs, it's not four months, it's five, six, seven, and twelve months out of the year. And then freestyle, yeah. and then preseason, and. It's a never-ending cycle, um, unfortunately. But, again, uh, we like the sport. That's what we're drawn to. Mm-hmm. So Jared, what, what's in it for you? I mean, what's the payoff when you get your hand raised? It's that feeling, I know, is part of it, knowing that you did that. It was your work. Well, when he gets all his you. hand raised, yeah. he doesn't get yelled at by me. So yeah. that's, probably, <laughs> that's, that's, that's probably part that's of it. All of the all the pain and suffering and <laughs> through practice and all the hours, it's just that one moment makes up for it when you get your hand raised and you're standing on, on top of the podium. How are you different as a wrestler this year than years past? Where, where have you improved, you think? Um, my neutral. I, my stand-up game. On your feet, yeah. yeah. I feel like I improved a little more there, and I can get more takedowns this year. You got a heavyweight who shoots here? Is that? We- yeah, he, he, he we, I don't know about necessarily shooting, but uh, <laughs> we kind of force it out of him. But, no, he is. He's probably the best heavyweight that we've had that's on his feet. Um, he can hit swings. He can hit um, some snag singles. He's, he's trying to work on a double. And he pushes himself, and, and that's the difference. He's not just going to stand out there in the middle of the mat and lean on you um, sometimes. <laughs> but uh, w- when he gets with it, he's got some stuff in his arsenal that's, that's pretty dangerous. And um, being a heavyweight that can shoot, uh, it, it's, it's got his advantages, without a doubt. Jared, you beat Dominic Ballmer last year, right? State. Yes, I did. Do you think that he's ever going to come knock on your door now that he's at Cal State going, hey, I want a rematch? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Maybe you next year. Maybe yeah, next maybe year. Maybe next year. <laughs> you're wrestling in them. Yeah, I still remember that match. Uh, Jared hit an ankle pick um, right on yeah. the side and finished finish that takedown. Which is pretty incredible because Dominic's a guy that can wrestle pretty well on his feet. Yeah, he's, he's real he's an agile. A, he's an athletic kid. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, that just – one of Jared's things is he's, he's – don't want to say this and, you know, make him think good about, things about himself, but he's really smart. And Your muffs, Jared. Yeah, he, yeah. he's really, really smart you. and strategic when he wrestles. He knows what he wants to do. He tries to stay out of uh, areas that he's, he's not necessarily good at. Um, and that kind of probably more or less is why he's winning a lot of the matches he does. He just doesn't make those big, huge mistakes. He's very smart. Kirk, Jer that is a uh, – I think that's a perfect segue right now because you're talking about a guy that's strategic and intelligent. Uh, Jared, you know – you been you missed a tournament earlier this year because of something pretty special, uh, going and doing the entrance exams for the Navy. Can you talk to us about that? Is that is that something you're willing to talk about now about what you are hoping that your future is going to entail here in the next six months? Um, you know, I just they started talking to me for wrestling, and I, I didn't really look into it. And then when they started talking to me, I looked into it more, and it's just the opportunities and just everything about it is just sounds amazing to me. So I just. You know, I can try and do every possibility I can to get into it. Right on. Yeah, that would uh, be very cool. Jared, you, Frontiers had a lot of, of great wrestlers, I think, in, in a short period of history, but they yeah. had not had a state champion yet. What would it mean to you to leave that legacy, and what are your goals? I mean, obviously that's got to be the top goal this year is, is to be on top of that podium. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, we've, we've had people rank number one in Frontier. I think we've had one, but he just couldn't get the job done. And I feel like... Now I'm I'm the best candidate for it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm I'm more consistent than past wrestlers through Frontier. And 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 Kirk, uh, just to talk brass tacks a little bit. I mean, you're trying to build this program. I mean, we have the BHS guys in here. That's what you want to be. In. Yeah, I know, I know I was, you're battling history. When, I, when I saw those guys walking <laughs> through, I was like, oh, I just thought it was us. But okay. Um, but no, uh, BHS is a phenomenal program. They got a lot of tradition, um, and that that tradition carries on. And, and it really does help them. Um, but they have great coaches and wrestlers. And we're just trying to be frontier. Um, we're trying to do things our way. And it's been ten, this is 10 years right now. Okay. Uh, we've been open for 10 it's years. It's a good time to talk about it. And um, You're building a youth program, I know. Yeah, I mean, we, we have a great youth program. We had uh, five great freshmen come in this year, um, led by mm -hmm. Jade Nabis. Mm -hmm. And he'll be at Cole Doc Reyes. Is Cole Reyes. One, yeah. um, and, and anybody who knows Kern County Wrestling knows that last name, yeah. too, Avis. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, we, we got we got some really good freshmen coming in, and um, we got some good 7th and 8th graders. It's just uh, you can't – what I learned, unfortunately, is you can't rush it. It's When it happens, it happens. And uh, we're kind of in, in, in that point where we believe things are kind of moving in the direction we want them to uh, move throughout the entire program from our youth to our, to our JV to our varsity. Good deal. Um, so we're excited, but I mean, we're still, in, in all honesty, we're still a good step away from competing with the best. I mean, there's a big difference between number one and two in the state and number 10, 13, and 14 in the state. Absolutely. Um, but we're going to get there. I mean, it's just, it's relentless work and, uh, we got some great parents and, and great wrestlers. So hopefully in the near future, you're going to see us knocking on the door. But and isn't I, that I, always kind of the building block for you because you are in the section, you are in the region where the best wrestlers are coming <coughs> from, the best overall teams are coming from, whether it's you guys, whether it's BHS, Buchanan, Clovis, Clovis West. I mean, you go down the line. Yeah, no, I mean, we're – it's easy. I mean, it's easy to say we can wrestle against the best all the time, but it's a matter of getting those guys out there and keeping them. Yeah, it, it's a matter of um, – I mean, back when I was in high school, Frontier, if, if we were to compare my high school to, to, to Frontier, it's just a different animal now. I mean, we, we got third in the state, and we scored 93 points. Um, 93 points now. You might get top 10. Yeah, yeah you, they, they give you a clap on the back and say you, got, you had a good season. I mean, you got to be 14 deep. It's not, it's not, hey, I got five wrestlers, I got four wrestlers. It's You better have 14, yeah. and you better have – five or six state placers and you better have a couple guys going in the round of 12 and it's i mean the the landscape of the central valley um i read an article a couple years ago that we are considered the top three regions in the entire country mm. i mean th this is it this is yeah. where wrestling happens this is iowa this is pennsylvania this, yeah, this, this is the central this, valley this yeah, is yeah. it and um you you got a couple schools in the Visalia area but really uh, you got the track and you got the swyl mm -hmm. and i mean 
we go head to head and, and we battle and uh, you know BHS has done a great job of competing against them and we, we've had some of our big wins against the track schools and uh, we just hope the whole area in general just gets better in Bakersfield. Right. Yeah, well, I think I think you're there. I mean, it's it, like you said, in any high school sport, it's a little bit of a two steps forward, one step back with graduations and transfers and things like that. But wrestling, especially, uh, so many injuries, you have to have the right distribution of weights. I mean, you like you can't have two good guys in one weight because yep. then you, you lose one yep. of them. I mean, that's yep. so it, it is a difficult thing. But uh, uh, Frontier is certainly on the right track there, and we appreciate you guys coming in and talk to us about it. Uh, Jared, good luck this weekend, the rest of the way, and, and Kirk, you too. Thank you very much Thank for you. having us. Thanks, guys. We'll Go be right back. Uh, talk some more wrestling right after this on B Varsity Live. Thank you, guys.